Black Ops 1 is the best Call of Duty game. Do you agree? I'm gonna come up here and slap your cheeks, boy. Oh, never mind. Uh, nope. That was embarrassing. So, this is Black Ops 1 Nuketown. I am so nostalgic about this game. It's just so great. This game is a masterpiece. I love it. I first played it when I was eight years old. Oh! <laughs> we played King of the Totem together. It was lots of fun. Good old times. I miss this. I miss this COD. I miss this era of COD. We had five great CODs in a row. We had COD 4, World at War, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, and then Black Ops 2. Five amazing, incredible CODs in a row. This was the true golden era of COD. We never had so many great games in a row ever again, which is kind of depressing. After Black Ops 2, it was never the same again. By the way, there is lots of drama in the COD community currently. There's this drama with FaZe Clan. The higher-ups at FaZe Clan basically sold out and uh, they recruited this girl who was an actress in Stranger Things and the only reason they recruited her was because she, you know, she's a celebrity. So now the OG FaZe members are pissed off at the higher-ups and you know they're having an argument, a conflict in the FaZe Clan. The OGs want FaZe Clan to be like it used to be back in the day. A clan of passion rather than business and, you know, money, clout. And I agree, definitely. Everything that goes corrupt goes to shit. Drama with cheaters in uh, Warzone Ranked or whatever. It's funny because COD keeps releasing, you know, the new anti-cheat. They keep promoting this upgraded, new, greatest anti-cheat ever and then it never works. I swear, every time Call of Duty promotes uh, some kind of anti-cheat, it never works. It never does it, the job. Last time I played uh, Modern Warfare 2 rank, I literally came up against a blatant aimbotter. He, he, got, he killed my whole team with all headshots at close range. Blatant aimbotter locking onto our heads, and he's in Crimson rank. My solution? I think we should go back to console. I know console still has, you know, like, Cronus Max, Cronus Zen, so people can still kind of cheat on console. But at least they're not gonna wall hack, I think. So maybe COD competitive should go back to console. There was a discussion on Twitter whether people should get punished by law for cheating in a video game. I would say yes, put them in jail. If they aimbot or wall hack in a video game, put them in jail. <laughs> Especially if they're cheating in tournaments, because if you cheat in a tournament, you are basically stealing money. It's money theft. So, yes, it should be punished by law. What do you lads think? Do you agree? Should people who cheat in tournaments in video games get fined or put in jail? I think yes. By the way, I'm gonna go play a different map. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so toxic. So here's my classes. I used the gold camo on every weapon because it just looks so beautiful. I mean, why does the gold camo look so good in this game? This is a PS3 slash Xbox 360 game and the gold camo looks better than any other COD. Yes, it looks better than Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4. Yes, this gold camo looks better than all of them. I don't care what you guys say. It's shiny and it has detail at the same time. It has a lot of reflections. It's a nice golden brown color. Oh, by the way, the SMGs kind of suck in this game. The only really good SMG is the AK-74U and maybe the MP5K, but the rest of the SMGs are really meh. I'm an SMG guy. I think my favorite weapon class is uh, SMGs. They're small. I like small weapons. They are small. They are full auto, lightweight, my style. Honestly, I like every weapon class except for LMGs. LMGs are not my thing. Although, I do love the M60 in this game. That LMG is very nice. I'm pretty sure I'm fighting against bots right now. I mean, they all have XX in their names. I'm sorry, guys. The game is dead. Um, barely anyone is playing this game, unfortunately. At least in Europe at this time. There are not many people playing the game. Oh my god. 
I really wish this game was remastered. It would be amazing. I don't care if skill-based matchmaking was here. Just remaster this game. I would love to see World at War and Black Ops 1 remastered. It's easy money because you don't really have to design the game. You you already have the maps ready. You have the campaign story and you know characters, dialogue ready. By the way, almost every map in the old COD games was so iconic and well designed. Wow, this guy's camping in the corner. Unbelievable. I can barely find the map in these old CODs, which I don't like. So many great maps. Fortunately, in the new CODs, there is a lot of bad maps. I feel like all the talented map designers quit. Treyarch actually still makes uh, pretty good maps. Cold War had uh, quite nice maps. It's Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer who make bad maps. Speaking of Treyarch, I am really excited to see what they have for us in 2024. I have faith in Treyarch. If they give them the Modern Warfare engine, Treyarch can make a really good game. Cold War was a good game, I just did not like the engine. The engine felt awful to me. Do you guys remember this? Dragon's Breath Olympia. This is so toxic, but fun to use. I love it. Easy. <laughs> I don't like how in the old cards, you don't have unlimited sprint. It's so annoying. After like four seconds of running, you have to walk. These are supposed to be trained marines, man. How are they running out of stamina in four seconds? Ah, the ambience. I, I, I love how the maps in uh, old cars had ambience. In Modern Warfare 2, every map is so empty. You know, sunny day, no wind, no rain, no, no snow. Wow, there's thunder on this map. Every map is good. There is no bad map in these games. Dolphin Dive. Oh, come on. The Dolphin Dive is way better in Modern Warfare 2. I'm coming. Uh, uh, nope, nope. <laughs> like I said, I'm an SMG guy. I like SMGs. So I'm going to use the Mac 11. Do wield Mac 11. Oh, <laughs> you know I'm doing that. Dolphin Dive. Stun him. Oh, come on. No, I'm out of ammo. What the hell? I got stunned. I hate this. Whoa. I'm so disappointed. I'm going to come up here and slap your cheeks, boy. Oh, never mind. Uh, nope. That was embarrassing. Well, all right then, lads. That was Black Ops 1 in 2023. 13 years later. It's been a long time. I can't believe it, but this game is very nostalgic. It's still a masterpiece. I hope it gets remastered one day. And I will see you in the next one. Mwah, 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 mwah.